Why then has the ultimate multiverse gained in popularity and why now do you reckon? Why do I think it's gained yeah, in popularity now? because it's not just scientific, is it? No, it's not just scientific. Um, and of course, so again, sorry, uh, forgive the historical move that I always want to do, but um, the, uh, the first um, real uh, sort of respectable vision of the multiverse in physics came out of the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics in the 1950s. Um, and then in the 1980s, um, Andre Linde, Alex Vilenkin started positing uh, eternal and chaotic inflation. All right, so these ideas were around, uh, but we, the, the multiverse starts exploding around the turn of the millennium. I mean, there's a, suddenly it's on bookstores, it's in, it's in it's whatever we, bookstores are now, it's, you know, the early internet, it's, right. Absolutely everybody talking about the multiverse. Um, I think within physics, it seems that part of, we do, I think, have to talk about the anthropic principle. I think part of the um, impetus came from the discovery of dark energy in 1998 and the uh, intensification of the perceived fine-tuning problem. The idea that it seems like the universe is so perfectly calibrated that if, if gravity were any different, if everything were any stronger, maybe the universe would collapse into a big crunch, or if the cosmological constant were any stronger, it would blow apart. Right? How is it possible that everything is just right, that we can get galaxies and planets and stars and Donovan and whatever else that we get? Um, <laughs> And uh, Nothing's perfect. So, so Steven Weinberg begins to say in 2000, 2001, look, I think that this fine-tuning problem is going to force the idea of the multiverse on it. And suddenly Alex Belenkin's phone is ringing and Andre Linde's phone is ringing. And you know, they're like ringing up Hugh Everett from the dead and being like, sorry, dudes, maybe your idea was right. Um, right because we have this intensified fine-tuning problem, which again, from my perspective, the problem is that it keeps nudging physics closer to theologians who are like, ah, we have a fine-tuned universe. We got an answer for that. It's our dude. It's our guy. We've been talking about this guy. Or, or girl, as the case right. may be. So this is, right. Exactly. Well, it's either that or an infinity of universes. Or so. an infinite, right. That's your, that's your choice. And this is what, this is, this is, if you don't want God, you'd better have a multiverse. Right. The so so I think right. That, as God. I think that as a, uh, I certainly I'm not in that position <laughs> at all, and I don't. I, he said it, not me. But <laughs> no, I just want to correct it. Uh, as if it's not obvious. But, uh, but I think the claim, I think that you're mentioning, Mary Jane, I think is, is a by group in our, in our community. And to make it as a general statement is not quite valid. And what he was referring to is the point that I have been making in the past few years is that that idea may not be correct. So, but that does not talk about the general, like, general framework not being correct. It's just the way people are using it may be incorrect. So I think the idea that the, the, the fine tuning problems in physics, whether or not they are uh, related to entropic principle or they are related to deeper principles, we have to learn, we have to study and understand. People have put forth the idea that some aspects may be related to aspects that we exist and therefore, yeah, mm -hmm. we, we, won't, we won't be existing on outer space, we exist on planets. That's not a crazy idea, you know, there's gravity, you get stuck there. And so, so that could be similar to some aspects, not everything. And if everything is trying to ex be explained, the, all the fine tunings based on our existence sounds a little strange. Many people in my field don't like that and I don't think I'm, I would, I would myself not like it. I would find that as a last resort to go in that direction. That's and what most people are. Are. people are looking for alternatives, including myself. I've written papers that he's referring to, trying to ad advance other alternatives to that question. But is, is it, do you, from your point of view, was the, the increase in, in interest in the multiverse forced on you or as a result of trying to deal with the fine tunings? So, so, so it was kind of relation. Before Weinberg's and before the measuring of the dark energy, the fact that there are infinitely many solutions in string theory was not. That was not. That was independent of right. that. Yeah. Right. Weinberg, when he was giving his ideas about anthropics, he used string theory as, look, we need such a thing in order to explain why Kalmarsh constant is zero, or close to zero. And he said there must be infinite, a very large number of solutions. String theory said there are great. So that's the starting point. <laughs> Now, <laughs> then he went and then a few years later, the people d discovered dark energy and people in string theory said, great, you know, we, we, we are okay, but we now have to explain exactly why we have this actual value that we are seeing. And so people try to construct solutions and then there's still debate and that's part of what people in my community, including myself, have raised recently. Have they constructed the solutions that Weinberg wants? Or whether more interestingly, is the dark energy changing in time? And if there's such, is it observable? And can we measure it? Would be as a prediction of string theory. So, so it'd be very, very concrete predictions of that idea of the landscape of string theory. So the idea that string theory all landscape exists, who cares, we cannot measure it, there's no irrelevance for us, we're only in one of these universes, not so fast. Because if we find general patterns of them, for all of them, and if ours is one of them, therefore we make specific predictions about our universe. Right. And, and you cut down understanding the that Understanding what properties our universe has could be a very specific one, and we can check it. For more debates, talks, and interviews, 
Subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI TV.